Transport phenomena in biosystem module 3, viscosity and momentum, segment 3, pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity. With me, Yusuf, from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about Newton's law of viscosity and generalization of Newton's law of viscosity. In this segment, we will discuss about pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity. When experimental data are lacking and there is no time to obtain them, the viscosity can be estimated by empirical methods, making use of other data on the given substance. We shall discuss a corresponding state's correlation which facilitates estimation of viscosity and illustrates general trends of viscosity with temperature and pressure for ordinary fluids. Figure on the right gives a global view of the pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity. The reduced viscosity is plotted versus the reduced temperature for various values of the reduced pressure. A reduced quantity is made dimensionless by dividing with the corresponding quantity at the critical point. The figure shows that the viscosity of a gas approaches a limit, particularly the low density limit as the pressure becomes smaller. For most gases, this limit is nearly attained at one atmospheric pressure. The viscosity of a gas at low density increases with increasing temperature, whereas the viscosity of a liquid decreases with increasing temperature. The values of the critical viscosity may be estimated in one of the following ways. First, if viscosity is known at a given reduced pressure and temperature, mu c can be calculated from the equation mu divided with mu r, or Second, if the critical PVT data are available, then mu c may be estimated from the empirical relations as shown in equation 3.8. The previous figure can also be used for rough estimation of viscosities of mixture. For n component fluids with mole fractions xa, their pseudocritical properties can be determined from equation 3.9. That is, one uses the figure exactly as for pure fits, but with the pseudocritical properties instead of the critical properties. This empirical procedure works reasonably well unless there are chemically dissimilar substances in the mixture or the critical properties of the components differ greatly. For the next segment, we will discuss about convective momentum transport. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.